Welcome back, Crack Rackets fans, to another edition of CR Live. We are here live at the Midtown Athletic Club for the 2019 ITA Men's National Indoors, and I am here with our defending champions, Petros Frisokos and Bar Botzer of the Wake Forest men's tennis team. Guys, first of all, congratulations on the win. And I, I want to start here, and you guys can both answer this question. You know, you guys are really the two returners with the most experience from last year's lineup. You know, you're not playing Gojo today, so you guys are lined up at one and two. Going into to the match how do the both of you prepare to handle that sort of pressure of knowing you know you are the top two guys for this one uh yeah i mean we knew colombia is going to be a, a great team it's going to be uh, we remember them from last year uh doubles was very important uh knowing that uh goji is going to be out but um i think we played one of the best doubles points we ever played this year and um you know the singles is uh it, it, we, we had to compete, and I think we did a great job on, on all courts, even though we lost two points up there. But uh, I think me and Barr uh, did a great job at leading the guys in the bottom lineup and uh, got the win, so we're happy about that. Yeah, uh, yeah I think uh, I think me and Petros both like this type of pressure and responsibility, and uh, we're definitely looking forward um, to play well and to win and to lead the team. And, uh, yeah, it was today was a really good team effort. Uh, it was good that we can both uh, win uh, in singles relatively quick and get the doubles points. So we were up 3-0 like, relatively quick. And uh, just to give the other guys some confidence and then support them off the court as well. And, and on that note, you know, you talk about the singles. You guys are the first two off the court. Petros, you really raced out to a victory uh, pretty quickly in your match. And yet I noticed you didn't even go to the other side of the court. You know, you had faith that Barr and that side down there were going to get the job done. You know, what was your reasoning for staying, you know, on the, on the odd side, staying with the courts three and five? Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that the both six courts, I mean, all six courts are split into two. I don't really like that, but um, I guess I'll take it. I mean, I have no choice. But uh, when I finished my match, I wanted to stay with the guys that I play next to just so they can see me, uh, you know, they're giving them giving them some confidence, especially Melios, because he's, we, you know, we're from the same country and uh, we know each other very well. So I knew he, he wasn't having a great time, uh, first set and second set. So I had to give him a little bit of a, of a push. I knew the other guys not playing are doing a great job on the other side of uh, of the courts but uh, I knew Barr was there too and you know the guys did a great job the ones that didn't play really uh, you know helped the momentum change uh, and some guys did need some uh, uh, the push and uh, uh, we, I think we lost four for sets or something like that and then two of them we were also set uh, break down in the second so it, it was a tough match credits to Colombia but we got through it and, and to you, Bar, you know, all, you were the last first set done, even though you were the second match finish. At that point, you two were the only two Wake Forest players who had won first sets. Were you aware of that as you were playing your first set? And then, you know, you kind of pulled away in that second set. What allowed you to have that sort of success? Um, actually, I did not know what's going on the other side. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. <laughs> I mean, it, if we're winning, it's a bad thing. And if we're losing, it's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I saw the guys on my side were kind of struggling in the beginning. So and I was down a break in the first set, so that kind of gave me uh, extra motivation to uh, get the win. I obviously trusted Petros to do his job, and uh, at least to get one more win from uh, from the other side. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Oh, definitely. And, you know, we, we had a little fun before this, and you guys will see that segment later, but we did this little version of Heads Up where you two got to guess uh, some teammates. One of the clues you gave was most competitive person on the team, and Petros, of course, answered himself. Now, that wasn't the answer to the question, but it will be relevant to this question I want to ask now. Look, you guys are the defending champions, and yes, you lose Skander, you lose Christian, you lose a lot of guys from last year, but when you're bringing back, you know, Barr, Borna, yourself, Petros, that is a ton of talent, and yet still, you come into this tournament having lost a close, you know, 4-3 decision at UVA. Uh, to both of you guys, do you think that sort of early season adversity will help you, not only in this tournament, but just long term throughout the season? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, we definitely lost two of, two probably of, the best players Wake Forest will ever see, but we got um, we got great like freshmen coming in like Melios and Sid. Uh, we have Yuval that is c coming back as well, um, and I think me Bar and and Borna can do a, a much better job at like leading the guys and making making sure you know they go in the match confident, whether we lose or win the doubles point because you know um, I don't want to curse, but like. You know, bad things happen, and you might lose a doubles point, and then you, there's nothing you can do about it. But then, you got you got to play six singles matches, and you need four of them. Unfortunately, UVA was a tough one, um, but 
you know, defending champs, obviously, that we got a, a, ton, a ton of pressure, but I think the fact that we lost last year twice as well uh, took a little bit of a pressure, uh, you know, off us, knowing that we can lose and still win everything, uh, and I think that was a positive thing. Same question to you, Bar. How do you come back handling the adversity of an early season loss, especially given, you know, this year you make the jump, now you're playing top three in most of these matches. You know, how, how has your confidence, how has the way you approach these matches changed this season? Um, I think I think it's a good thing that uh, we lost uh, early in the year in a match that doesn't really matter much. It's not a conference match or it's not a big tournament. Um, I think, it, like Petro said, it takes the pressure off uh, ourselves. Obviously, there's um, a huge amount of pressure as the like last year we won everything indoors, ACC, NCAs. Um, so, obviously, also playing today was very very stressful, and but it's very very much fun. Like it's it's the best time of the year. All those big tournaments, the stressful ones when all the teams getting hyped and um, yeah I think I think we did a really good job like you could see also from the players that weren't playing um, how more how much more dedicated they were uh, in the team effort and also the guys playing everyone was giving his best um, so yeah I think we're in a good place right now all right well then let's end with a fun one for our listeners who don't know didn't get to see today you guys are now partnered up at one doubles I often like to joke that playing doubles with someone it's like being in a relationship you really get to know everything about them and so I want to ask you guys a couple of fun questions uh, before I let you go we'll give you both a chance to answer as well these will be pretty rapid fire based Petros you know the deal by now uh, so let's start here you know you guys are at the start of the match who serves first I do Petros no question. No question. No question. <laughs> well, I, well, I like our chances with me on the baseline and him on the net to start with, and then we kind of get warmed up, and then and then it's on. That was a cop out answer, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> Same question, high pressure, deuce point. Who's taking the return? I take it. I take it. I take depends. It. Depends. <laughs> not always. Not no, always. No, I'll, I'll fix that. He'll take, he'll take it most of the time. Yeah. There, yeah. But there's there's uh, there's days where he feels his back end way more than I feel both of my shots and most people go for his back end you know on the deuce sides and don't then don't tell just, them that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it don't matter it don't matter <laughs> <laughs> all right same question one to you and then one, one to you Barra how often do you get frustrated as one hander no comments no comment no comment <laughs> <laughs> same question you when Petro slaps a backhand into the net what are you thinking I'm surprised <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised. Yeah. I expect everyone to go in. I don't know. Of course, I mean the guys. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. All right, well, I, we'll end with a fun one. You guys are like, let's let's have a doubles night out to dinner. Who's picking the restaurant? I am Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Chipotle is my go-to. Uh, lunch and di well. Depends lunch. who depends who pays. Depends who pays, <laughs> but uh, it's no, the I, school I, or us. Yeah, Chipotle is my go-to, and then uh, you know other other people have other opinions. But what do you think about Chipotle? I mean, I'm a huge Chipotle. If, if we're going to do Qdoba versus Chipotle versus, oh like, God. Moe's and all this, Qdoba is garbage. Like, it's if garbage. I wanted disgusting. Because I'm not putting queso on I don't want an ice cream sundae on my burrito. <laughs> yeah, like, it's enough. ridiculous. Chipotle it is. Chipotle it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Completely agree. Last question, Bart, we'll start here. Israel or Cyprus? Which one do you travel to first? Uh, Israel all day. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been to Israel, so I agree. But you, you prefer Cyprus, though. Uh, you've never been, though. <laughs> Coach Bresky's scheming, obviously. Yes. That's why he recruits these players from abroad. Yes, but you can only compare if you go to Cyprus. Okay, yes. fair enough. Fair That's enough. true. Well, look, I'm waiting for my invite. You, I'll pay for the Chipotle if you pay for the flight. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, again, Petros Barbatser, you guys, winners today. Good luck the rest of the week, and we look forward to checking in with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it.